Hey guys, John Faulkner here with Firearms Depot, and today I want to talk about staying cool when it's hot out. Staying cool on the range, uh, if you're just out plinking, uh, if you're taking a class, if you're doing a competition, it's summertime and uh, you know it's hot out. And we want to make sure that we are trying as hard as we can to stay cool because when you get overheated, you get heat exhaustion, you know, you start to do bad things, and you got to remember, you know, we're not playing with toys out here. And um, you know, being able to stay cool on the range is sometimes hard. Uh, I was born and raised in Arizona. I live in Florida now, so I know what hot is, and I know what hot is. Um, and you know, training all over the southeast, southwest, um, you know, I've I've learned quite a few things. And um, you know, a lot of times during the summer, like when my son's off school and stuff like that, it's a little bit easier for me to to train uh, running this business and others. So you know, summertime is usually when I am able to get out, able to train. And um, you know, a lot of people I think steer away from it because it's so hot out. You know, we're talking, it's in the 90s here already in Florida uh, and it's only gonna get hotter, you know. So as I've evolved in my training and stuff, you know, I've added and added and added. And uh, I just wanted to go over a couple ways that I stay as cool as possible so that I can stay as focused as possible, get as much out of the class, um, but also make sure that I'm not overdoing it and you know putting myself in harm's way because of the heat. So uh, first of all, uh, a hat. You know, if it's a ball cap, wear a ball cap. It keeps it helps keep the sun off of our face. Uh, if you want a little bit more protection, you know, you can go with something like a boonie cap or something like that. Uh, cover the ears, cover a little bit of the back of the neck, and uh, just give you a little bit of of sun protection. That's really what we're trying to do. Uh, make sure that it's a material that dries quick. That's going to be kind of a, a redundant uh, theme here as we go. But you know, number one, like to have a hat. You should always have a hat just for safety precautions. Even you know, with brass getting in, I've had brass get in between uh, my glasses and my forehead. I've had burn marks on my on my head. Uh, you know, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not as blessed with hair as I used to be, so um, so I wear a hat every time I go. But you know, I always have a boonie hat uh, in my range bag. So if it gets to kind of that point, if we're doing a lot of prone work, like if it's like a DMR class or SBR class, something like that with rifles, uh, I'll usually put on a boonie hat. Um, you can always fold these up if you're wearing uh, ear pro and uh, still still make them fit. So number one, get yourself a, a good hat or, or just a regular ball cap. Uh, number two, uh, a sun shirt. You gotta have, gotta, in my opinion, gotta have sun shirts. Um, pretty much any company that you can think of makes these. This is a QU shirt. I mean, Arcteryx. Uh, look at a lot of fishing companies. You know, they make a ton of sun shirts that are that are awesome. Uber lightweight, uh, moisture wicking. You know, but keeping our arms out of the sun, keeping the back of our neck out of the sun. Uh, what I look for in in a sun shirt, uh, number one for me, it has to have a hood. Also, I'll pull these up, you know, kind of Princess Leia style uh, over over my ear pro as well, over my hat. Make sure the back of my neck is completely covered, and uh, you know, pretty much as much of me is out of the sun as possible. Um, I. I I wear a sun shirt pretty much every single class that if you ever see me, uh, you'll see me pretty much in a sun shirt. Uh, I love them because it keeps me protected. Usually these have like SPF ratings also on them so you don't have to worry about your back uh, or anything like that as well. Um, but you know, I, I feel like I'm actually cooler. I know it sounds weird being in a long sleeve shirt, um, but keeping that sun off of you is, is a huge thing. Um, and so, you know, I always say have a sun shirt. It's what you should train in. Um, or if you're just hitting the range, like it's a smart thing to have. So a sun shirt, number two. Uh, moving on to, to my belt. I have a couple things here that uh, you might have seen before. Uh, I kind of put a new twist on them. Number one, I would just say is, is gloves. Uh, you know, and you're like, why gloves? That's gonna make you even hotter. The only reason why, you know, I wear gloves for the most part, like in summer classes, like, Rifles are going to get hot just naturally. I mean, even if you're shooting the, the barrel's going to warm up, your hand's going to get hot. In the summer months, it just keeps those rifles from cooling down, uh, you know, and so they just get hotter and hotter and hotter. So at least for like your support hand, uh, you might want to have a pair of gloves. It could really help you out. Number two, as I work around here, uh, stole this from the golf world, you know. Um, what this is, this is from uh, Ghost Golf, and it's a magnetic towel. So I actually have this, it clips on, it'll stick to anything magnet. You can put it on your D-ring, you put it on your front ring. Uh, I clip it on my magazine uh, carrier here. It actually has a magnet on the outside. 
The reason why I like this towel so much, number one, you know, I, I sweat, uh, I, I sweat, I sweat a lot. Uh, you know, I'm, man, I'm kind of like a woolly mammoth, you know, in, in the hot desert. So I, I sweat a lot. I love being able to just wipe my face off, uh, my hands, you know, if they're getting super slippery because sweat's running down my arms. I love to be able to, to dry my hands off. But the reason why I like this magnet is, you know, people would be like, oh, that's like a huge snag hazard. And as you can see right there, this thing just snaps on, snaps off. It'll never come off while you're running, but if it were to snag on anything, if you roll over on it, it comes right off. Um, and I, I have used this thing so many times, it's like my second or third towel also. Um, but it just snips on, so I can pop it off, I can dry my face, I can snap it right back on. I never have to worry about it, you know, catching on anything or, or pulling me down, anything like that, because it easily pops off. Uh, you could also stick one of these just in your back pocket, like if you just want a regular towel. Uh, but I love a towel. Like I just love being able to, to dry myself off when I get uber sweaty. So I have a towel on my, on my belt also. Uh, and then the third pocket. So this is a uh, Spiritus System spud pouch, as you can see here. So, you know, I got my pistol magazines, my rifle magazines, med kit, you know, kind of everything that everybody has on uh, a regular belt setup. But uh, I love to run this, spout, this spud pouch here. Uh, you can put AR mags in here. Uh, it's really, it's a universal pouch. You know, I, I put snacks in here at times. But what I love about this is it holds a regular water bottle really, really well. This isn't like a true like Nalgene size. I don't want to run around with like a 32 ounce bottle, you know, dangling on my hip. But to be able to put like a 16 ounce water bottle right there. And uh, I know like you get breaks during class, but you know, just in between reps, like if you're going to the back of the line, something like that, you can pull this out, just have a quick squig of water, stick it back in there. It does have a flap if you wanted to put a flap over it. It's just tucked down in the back. I don't even run it that way. I just kind of cinch it down. Um, but I will always have a bottle of water on my belt, just so that, you know, I'm not having to wait maybe 30, 45 minutes or an hour in between iterations and training, uh, you know, when the instructor is teaching, you know, and you're just standing in the sun baking, I can just pull this out of my belt, I can have some water, keep myself hydrated, I can put electrolytes in here, uh, any type of mixes that I want, um, but the ability to just have water on me all the time is a huge plus. You gotta stay hydrated. You gotta hit the range hydrated, and you gotta stay hydrated while you're on the range. And what I have found is this is the best way for me to have water. Yeah, I usually have like a big, you know, like one liter bottle um, or Gatorade bottles and stuff like that back, you know, wherever your box is or your truck. But, you know, that can be 50 yards away, 100 yards away. You might only be able to get to it during breaks. So being able to carry a bottle of water on your belt is, is a huge, a huge win. And um, it's something that you'll pretty much always see me with. And then the last thing. Uh, so you're like, oh, a plate carrier, great. Um, this is actually not a plate carrier, and uh, it's not plates. Um, so this, this is a, uh, a plate carrier that I got from UARMS, U-A-R-M. Um, I don't really care, I just wanted an uber lightweight carrier, uh, because what's important is actually what's on the inside. So these are not, uh, these are not ballistic plates. Uh, these are actually ice plates from the company Core Performance, Q-O-R-E, Core Performance. Uh, and what you do is, is you literally just fill these up with water, throw them in your freezer, they freeze to a hard block of ice, and then you have one on your front chest, and you have one on your back, uh, and all it's doing is help keeping your core temperature as low as possible. Uh, and these things will last, you know, like I said, you know, Florida heat, 90 degrees, you know, 95 degrees, things like that. These will last probably like three or four hours, um, of, of ice, and then it's gonna be maybe another hour or so of, of cold water. Um, they do make attachments that you can actually screw in and have a hose, kind of like a camelback, if you want to drink the water out of it. I don't like using camelbacks. Um, I don't use it like that. I've, I've had these for quite a while. I fill them, uh, and they just, when they thaw out, you know, I throw them back in my freezer at the house. And what I'll usually do is just put these in my ice chest with some other ice with my drinks and stuff like that. And if it's one of those just hot days, if I'm just going out to the range to work on a couple things uh, by myself, or if I'm taking a class that I know it's gonna be uber hot, uh, this has nothing to do with like me working on, you know, pulling out of chest rigs or anything like that. I'm just trying to keep myself cool. Uh, and I got turned onto these by my buddy, Sam Houston. You know, he was running them in class and you know, he, he sweats just as much as I do. We're big guys. Uh, and I just, I love the fact that, you know, 
I was able to keep myself so much cooler. My core body temperature, well, I just love kind of holding that there. That's kind of nice. Um, but in this lightweight plate carrier, um, you know, I'm just able to keep them in there, keep it against my chest, keep it against my back. And I know that I have three or four hours that I'm going to be able to regulate my body temperature better with this on it. They're, they're not, uh, you know, price is always a subjective thing. They, these are like 50 bucks a piece. So, you know, if you want just a back one, if you still want to have armor on the front uh, for a class or something like that, you want just a back one. And they literally can go in pretty much in any ESAPI uh, plate carrier. You could put it in your Cry Precision, you could put it in your Spiritus rig, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I just wanted a dedicated one. This is, this, what I liked about this one is it's, it's just like a, um, a lasered fabric material that's all cut out. Uh, but the whole inside of it is completely open. So I have as much surface area as possible against my, my shirt, my skin, uh, to keep me as cool as possible. And like I said, I'm not doing, you know, G.I. Joe stuff usually when I have these on. I'm just wanting to try to stay as cool as possible if I'm working on pistol drills or if I'm doing long range bench work stuff uh, and it's just 100 degrees outside and I'm just sitting on a bench just completely drenched in sweat. It's nice to just put this on. You know, they probably weigh about three three pounds, maybe four pounds uh, each, probably somewhere around there if I were to weigh it. But, uh, you know, so it adds a little bit of weight, but it, the, the, these things keep you as cool as you can be. And, uh, and I think they're an absolute, um, an absolute game changer when you actually have them on. And I, and I love wearing this setup. And, you know, I can still put my battle belt on. I can still pull my pistol out just fine. I can still sling a rifle. I can do all those things. If I wanted to, I could still integrate a chest rig into this if I wanted to use it as a regular plate carrier system. So, uh, you know, if you're a guy that, that likes wearing plate carriers and stuff, you might want to check out Core Performance. These things are awesome. They keep you super cool. And, uh, you know, those are just some of the things that I use. Most of it should already be in your kit or something that you have, like, in your house that you can adapt. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to go all the way, you know, core performance is definitely the, the way to do it. So I hope you guys like this video. If you got any other tips of staying cool in the summer months when you hit the range, feel free to leave them below in the comments. We love reading them. And if you have any questions uh, about any of the gear that I talked about, feel free to leave those down there. We always stick around for a couple of days, try to answer as many questions as possible. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe for more cool content like this. And until next time, be safe.